So when you meet new artists, Riggs, what's some of the things that catch your attention that would make you interested in like signing a new artist? Like when you first meet them, when they first walk in the door, if they had the privilege to get to you? Well, when, when, uh, when I first meet an artist, the look is definitely a, uh, is a factor. And most importantly, the music. Because you want to make sure that the music and the look match. You know what I'm saying? And um, personality, big factor. You want to make sure that this artist, you know, knows how to convey himself. That again, he is a reflection of that music. If it's a prolific music, I'd like to see that the artist can hold on a conversation like a prolific artist. Having my journalistic background, I always found that artists didn't really have much to say. So I'd be, I, I like to hold a conversation with an artist and that really gives you an idea of what this artist is about. You know, in some cases they're weird, in some cases they're eclectic, and in some cases they're straightforward, but that conversation really gives you a solid idea of what this artist's uh, capabilities are. Because eventually, once the music is, is uh, once the music gets turned off, they're gonna have to do interviews. They're gonna have to do sit downs, and that impression, whether it's music or not music, that first impression says a lot. So whether you're in music and business or whatever it may be, first impressions really count for a lot. So okay, when an artist comes in and wants to play me his music, um, I like to use the number seven. It's a lucky number for a reason. Because within those seven songs, I ought to get a solid idea of what you're capable of. Hit single, your capability to do a concept record, your ability to do a record that's street, your ability to do... Within those seven songs, you should be giving me seven different facets of what you embody as an artist, musically. So, you know, ten might be too much, but have three more in the stash, just in case, because after those seven, I might want to hear more. Or if it's not that good after the fifth, I'm like, okay, let's just get this over with. You know, so I want to say seven is a lucky number. Seven is a number that I don't see how you can't show how well-rounded you are within those seven songs. If I want to hear more, then we take it from there. Seven. Seven is a lucky number. That's how many songs I would suggest that you bring whenever we sit down and we talk and we shoot the one-on-one. -on -one. Some of the don'ts, um, one, don't be late. You know, um, time is of essence, and I have a rule where if the meeting is at 7 o'clock, I'm going to sit with you from 7 to 7.30. If you get that 7.10, that meeting's still going to finish at 7.30. If you get that 7.20, that meeting's still going to finish at 7.30. So you just ate up about 20 minutes of your time. So don't be late. Um, don't lie. You know, don't lie. Meaning that if there's anything of your past that we need to know, do you, if you have any contractual obligations to other people, uh, if you've done things in the past musically that's going to interfere with the process of us moving forward, let us know in advance. Um, do not come in with the overconfidence. It's a good thing to be confident. Confident is great. People want to be involved and be in business with a confident artist, but don't be overconfident. Because sometimes that big personality doesn't complement the, the the records. You know, sometimes the records could be shitty as hell, and you and you know you doing the whole yeah we're gonna take over the world this and that. Nah, the music's gonna tell us whether or not you're gonna take over the world. You know, so don't do that. And I personally, I like to say don't name drop. Not really impressed with that. It works in some places in the music business, but don't make no. It's not gonna make a difference as to whether or not I'm gonna buy it on your music. You know, um, don't tell me you know who you met with and things like that. Cause frankly, and I don't mean to be an asshole. I just don't care because at the end of the day, whether they liked it or not, it's not gonna affect whether I like it or not. So it serves no purpose.